Hello, my name is Osai Tres Mokaro. I'm a business consultant, I'm a business coach, I'm a business leader, and I mentor startups to help them structure their businesses, take their ideas from their head, and hit the market running. I decided to create this channel to be able to democratize what we have always been doing in training and empowering startups. The goal behind this channel is to take some basic life concepts, break it down so people can be able to have a clearer understanding and be able to take action. Subscribe to this channel as the content we empower you a great deal. Just click the subscription button and also tap the bell so you can get notified whenever we chunk out our content. Hello, you're welcome to yet another episode in our series, The Mystify. My name is Osai Tres Omokaro. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, possibly you encounter this video by an accident, I recommend that you subscribe to the channel, do yourself some good, read back on some of the contents that we have given out. It's been an amazing time for those who have subscribed, who have watched all our videos, they will say the same. It's been an amazing time. The contents have been tremendous. The feedbacks we are receiving has been amazing. And I'm sure taking your time to look, to watch those videos in the past and even this one, you're going to be happy you invested this time. I love you and I remain Usai Tresomokaro. Subscribe to the channel, enable the bell so you get notification immediately we release some new contents. This time around, we're going to be demystifying one of the most important strategies for success in all ramifications. We're going to be demystifying the concept of goals. What is a goal? A goal, in the simplest definition, is a documented vision with a date of accomplishment attached to it. Remember, our series is called Demystified, so we don't want to give definitions that we require you to use dictionary. So we're breaking it down to the simplest possible terms. Because one of the things we also realize is that the, the generalized terms for some, the generalized understanding for some of these concepts make people feel like I can't do it. A goal is something that you should do. If you must, I use the word must with capital letter, if you must succeed, in life. In fact, there is nothing like accidental success. No, every success is planned and executed. Otherwise, when you get there, you will not even know you are there. So what does a goal do? A goal helps you to take that which you have decided you want to do, get it documented with a date attached to it. Until that is done, Whatever thing you say I want to do with your life is not yet a goal. It may just be your vision, it may just be your dream, it may just be a wish. But when you attach a date to it and take the pain to begin to look at what you have said you want to do and begin to draw out plans and execution strategy, then you are working on a goal. And to be frank, this is something that everyone can do. Yes, like we said when we were demystifying ignorance, we said it's not practice that makes perfect, it's imperfect practice that makes perfect. The first goal you're going to set is not going to be perfect. Yes, but because it is something that is a necessity, it is something that is a requirement for success, I recommend that you live your life with a written document, a written and documented vision of where you want to see yourself within a so and so specified time. That's a goal. And in the execution and implementation of your goal, it is, as, it is expected that you take that big goal, the long-term goal, which is a goal that has between five to 10 years, is categorized as a long-term goal, break it down to a short-term goal which has between one between one to five years and from that 
break though no, that that falls within the category of a medium term goal then your short term goal is a goal that you must achieve between now and another one year take that big dream attach a date to it that become a goal break it down to a medium term then from there break it down to something you need to achieve within one year it, that be, it makes that makes it simpler so from there break it down to something you must achieve every month from there you can break it down to something you should and must achieve weekly you can see that your life is gradually taking some level of clarity then break it down to something you must do daily once you get to this point in time you realize that everything that looks like an opportunity may not necessarily be an opportunity when we demystified opportunity we shared that everything that looks like an opportunity to you may not necessarily be an opportunity to me an opportunity is that thing that comes to enhance and enable me to achieve what i have said i want to achieve anything that comes to take you out of is not an opportunity but how will you even know what is taking you out when you don't have a goal that is where setting the goal comes in. It helps give your life some level of clarity. It helps to tell you what to do per day. Then break your goal down to to-do lists. Something you must do every day. And if you must achieve your goal, there's something I want to let you know. Plan your day ahead, the night before you sleep. In fact, I am of the opinion that this day starts in the evening because from a little study I don't want to be controversial here I've read, I've read my Bible and I said I heard when the Lord said in the evening and the morning was the first day in the evening and the morning was the second day part of what I also learned is the fact that the very first day that man saw the very first day after man was created in six days, immediately man got up. The very first day he experienced was the Sabbath day, was the day God decided to rest. So why am I talking about this? You are supposed to plan your day, think about it, sleep off, rest on it, then wake up the next day and start to execute. Yes. That's why nobody can barge into your day. Can I see you today? sorry sir my day is already planned out can we make it tomorrow so in the evening of today i can add that as part of my engagement for tomorrow this is possible because you have a goal when you don't people barge into your day and clutter your day with their activity that's why you end up tired at the end of the day but yet you can't really talk about what you achieved that day a goal will make your life very simple. A goal will make your life very simple. Yes, decision making becomes very easy. And part of what happens that stops people from setting goals is the fact that I set some goals last year, I didn't achieve them. So why set another one? Let me tell you something. Set goals whether you achieve them or not. Yes. Like we, touched, like we talked about though, with the mystified failure, we say when you set a goal to earn a million dollars and you earn $500,000, don't tell yourself I failed. Just said I succeeded 50% and let, let that spoil you up. Do you know why you are feeling like a failure for not achieving your $1 million goal you planned for yourself within a year? Somebody who didn't plan a goal, who didn't have a goal at all, achieved a hundred thousand dollars and the person is celebrating yes that's why your success level your success rate will be more evident than such a person you know why he doesn't even have a yardstick for measuring himself but you have set a goal and that keeps you on your toe a goal will always keep you on your toe another thing that i see that hinders people from wanting to set goal is because of fear of failure Yes, it's, 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 in fact, it's exactly the same thing with what I said in the first thing. I don't want to fail. Why even say it at all? I don't want to fail. 
So it's better I just avoid failing. It is better to fail and learn what you're supposed to do that you didn't do than to fail because you didn't do anything at all. Then thirdly, what I want to add is the fact that when you set a goal, of course, we understand the, 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 the concept of goal setting, the, the, the concept of SMART, setting a SMART goal. You know, when you set a goal, sometimes because this goal has to be that goal that will stretch you, you may not be equipped enough to achieve that goal. So in my goal setting class, I tell people that the person who sets the goal might not necessarily be qualified enough to achieve that goal. Then you must work on yourself to upgrade yourself because to be, to attract what you want, you must become the person qualified enough to attract it. When we demystify the money, we talked about you becoming that magnet that attracts what you, are, what you aspire for. So when you develop your goal, there is a force field that go out there pulling everything required to achieve that goal to you, including the knowledge that you need to have to be able to achieve that goal. I'm sure we've been able to demystify the concept of goal. You can't set a goal, set smart goals, set small goals, achieve them, record your successes, and do more of it. I assure you, as you keep doing it, you're going to get better. Don't try to perfect it before you start. Just start and you perfect it as you go ahead. Thank you once again for hopping in on our channel. Please subscribe and share the content here. Let many people learn from it. Yes, I'm hopeful that when we are able to do that, we'll be helping many people activate the success that they are and be able to achieve and become who they are. I love you. Greetings from Trescaro and my entire Trescaro Systems and Solutions. Bye-bye.